guys, welcome. Um, I have a special guest for a special match. We've got Ali Davis from Ali Davis Golf here, and I'm at his golf club at the Forest of Arden, uh, and we're playing a little match play match. Um, it's part two. You need to go onto Ali's channel, you need to check out part one, subscribe and follow on all the social media platforms as well whilst you are there. You will then find out where we're up to um, and we're stood on the fourth tee. Fourth tee, yep. And one down unfortunately. Just one down unfortunately. Fortunately for me. But, the comeback um, is coming. It's on his way. Right, so we've got a lovely little dog leg par four. As you can see, so bunkers on the left hand side. Really narrows down, I'm getting the course information as before. It narrows down into the the narrow part of the fairways it takes the dog leg from the, the left hand side. So I'm going to hit a little three wood. Trying to, try to take a bit off it with my newfound power fade, which I'm trying to perfect. I've hit one not so good one, one really good one. So let's see if we can work another one into it. Yep. Yeah. Might even just grip down it a fraction. Again, just to shorten the arc, take a little bit more out of it. So at the bunkers, little fade good strike it's trying to fade it is trying that's fine could be, could be fine might have just sneaked in towards the, the first cut where the bunker is there we'll see yes yeah, I think it might have just caught the, the first cut but yeah. it's actually in great play Okay. Further left you are here, I didn't tell you this, but the further left you are here, the better. Right, okay. So, I'm going with a five wood, just to make sure I stay short of the bunkers, really. Ready? But, that's the only reason, think, same plan otherwise. I think I would have gone with bunker. five wood if I had one. You need to get one in your I need to get one, yeah, I'm watching you hit yours, of Okay, left bunker would cut. Okay, it's trying its best. It's, it's trying to come back. Yeah, it's okay. Yep, just this first cut again. Didn't cut enough. Started a bit left, but okay. play. Okay. All right, mate, what have we got? 173 to the stick. Okay. Um, one of those lovely pins, isn't it? It's really tucked away, yeah. If you can see it there, it's just right in the very right corner of the green. Trees all in front of it. Uh, this green is particularly slopey as well. So, left of the flag is a nice uphill putt. So, really, I'm going to try and go kind of left corner of the bunker, really. Yeah. And try and just get the distance right, give me an uphill putt. Right, yeah, so, right. taking that flag on would be suicide. So, let's see what we can do. Just got it on the left half of the green. Yeah. Okay. Middle of the green. Yeah. Got it a little bit heavy, so it's released out a bit, but I've still managed to stay on the green. Long putt though. Yeah. But again, I wouldn't go too much further right with that flag anyway. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's one of those greens where you look at it from here and it's just that the only place where it wouldn't really be a sucker pin is where you just hit that shot to. Yeah. Water on the left hand side, bunker, tight, slope, trees, right hand side. Yeah. Yeah, difficult one. Yeah. Okay, Jed, so you've kind of snuck half on the fairway, half off. Yeah. Is it on? Is it off? I don't know, I'd class it as on, I'm quite generous though. Yeah. I don't know, do you know what? It's, it's one of them, I'd rather it be either one or the other because it's quite difficult there. I've got a little bit of a grassy lie just at the back. I've got 151 yards to that sucker pin. So I'm just going to try and just feed a little eight iron in, maybe over the central area of that bunker, not take too much of that flag on. Sounds like a good plan. Try and see, see how we can go. Keep it nice and smooth. That's a great line. Yeah, good shot from there. Smart, smart, smart play. For all the golfers watching out there, that's the play. Don't go at that flag. Another long putt, Jed. Long putt, uphill. Yep. Little break on it. Yeah, it's not going to do that much break, I don't think. No. Kind of the green slips away here and it slips yeah. away there. I'm kind of sat on the kind of gully almost in the middle. So if I hit it left, probably left is going to break away. If I put it right, it'll probably hang up a little bit. So I'm going to probably aim just right edge and just try and get the pace right. 
I walk the pipe, got an idea of the perception of the pace. Crack strips looking at the hole. I'm no, just, just trying, trying to get it out, out there. there. Yeah, touched long and again as it got past. Okay, Jeff. So 30 foot. 30 foot. Yeah. Let's say it's not too dissimilar line to yours now. No. So it's a difficult putt to get the line right. This. Yeah. So I'm going to go a fraction left side, maybe a couple of inches on the left edge. Just seeing yours falling away a fraction as it lost a little speed. Needed to hit it. Yeah, not bad line. Well, like a few feet left for the half. Yeah, I left myself too much work to do here, really. But the first part, I wanted to make sure I got it up whole high and a bit too aggressive, really. No, left myself a right to left putt here. I've got to hit this positively to stay on a nice line. And then let's swing back. Yeah, beautiful. No pressure. Nice half, well done. Clinging on. Yeah, you're right. Hole five. It is, yeah. Yeah. Very slopey green again down that section here. Okay. So it's uh, again, it's one of those ones you get it pin high, to your left to the flag, it's, it's a good shot here. You just, I mean, actually, we're now looking, you see a little ridge there just to the left side of the, that bunker there. You can just see the ridge as it goes up. Sure. Across there. Okay. So I'm just going to a little seven iron to see if we can. Feed it in from the, the left side of that bunker. If we can get a little fade going, it'll be perfect. Ah, oh, no. Tugged it a little bit. It'd be good though. Yeah. Tricky foot, I fear. Yeah, longish pad from there because you're also front edge of the green there, and that back, that flag is kind of three quarters way back. So, um, yes. So, I'm going to go with a very similar strategy. Got seven nine as well. I think it's a good yardage for me actually. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and go kind of just right your ball with a bit of cut. Yeah. That was my plan as well. Yeah. <laughs> Same plan. And it hasn't cut, has it really? Oh, it's just, very yeah, straight. Uh, you know what? A little bit of cut on that would have been perfect. Yeah, it's, it's right to your ball, which is good. Yeah, just didn't have that little bit of drift in. Yeah, nice a bit longer as well, so I've got yeah. slight. Uh, yeah, I've got much easier putt than you. In theory, I have. So, tough putt, Jed. It's very tough putt. I bet you'd take two for it now, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. You can have two now. No. You can have two for three. No, I'm one down. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, from here, it looks like it's. Fairly, fairly straightforward up to it, getting through this little ridge, and then it looks like it's going to feed down a little hollow, I think, from this angle. Yep. So I'm thinking a fraction to the right hand side, and then hopefully it feeds down. If they get the speed right, get into the ridge, it should work down nicely. Yeah, it'll save you if you go a little bit right, I'm sure. Yeah. It's, um, I think for, for anyone watching, this type of put, it's not a put to the pace of the hole, it's a put to the pace of just over the edge of the slope. Yeah, exactly. And then just let gravity and the slope take it down towards your your goal end. It'll work from this distance, it's getting it to within a couple of feet is the goal. Gone a little bit too far to the right. Yeah, it might save you a bit though. Okay. But I'll definitely take that. Yeah, it's definitely helped you. Yeah. And the slopes brought you back. It's a bit like having the buffers up at bowling. Yeah, right? It's brought you back in that as well. <laughs> yeah. Good, good yeah. now. So I'm going to give you that, Jed. Very genuine, thank you very much. So you've got the three in the bag. Oh, the to win. Yep. Slick, oh. slick putt, this. Okay. With, a, with a bit of swing. And the danger is hitting it too hard to the right, it'll just go through the break. Yeah. So I've got to try and get the pace right and the line right to get everything working together. So I'm going to hit it out to the right hand side and try and just kind of dribble it down there.
at the line bang on. Really, really good. You know, and it's one of those, as you say, you hit it too firm, you, you know it's just not going to come back. Yeah. Say, on the line. Just, need, just needed about three or four more rolls, really. Definitely, and it's down to the bottom. Yeah. Halving three. Okay, hole six, 419, par four. Six, this is it. This is the last one of part two. Yeah, up the hill, dog leg uh, left to right. Um, yeah, you tend to. Th I'll give you the. I'll give you the, the home knowledge here. Knock it over the right hand corner of the bunker. Really, the left hand left hand corner of the right hand bunker. Right. You should be long enough to carry that. Just about. If you don't blame me. Find the middle. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. At the path with cut is good. Yeah. Come left a little, it's down the right hand side, which is good. It's got to be long to meet the fairway of that line. So it's over the bunkers, it the might bunkers. just be just in the first cut. We shall see. It's not a bad place to be, though. Good line for the green from there, yeah. but you just out the semi. Better than the fairway bunker. So I'm going to try and kind of copy, but be a bit left. So over the path with cut again. Some materials ready. Yeah, just a little bit started right, got the cut, but just started down the right. All right. They're both in play, both over the bunker, so just missed the fairway. Got 185 to go, Jed. Um, flag again tucked away in the right hand corner, so wind is uh, slightly hurting, if anything. Yeah. I'm going to go with a six from the rough because uh, it's not going to again stop up too quickly, it's going to release out a bit. Uh, left of the flag again, I'm not taking that flag on. I generally wouldn't take any flags on unless I've got a uh, 7.9 or less anyway, to be honest, that's my kind of rule. Long irons, middle of the green, same as Jack Nicholas. short irons, maybe got the flag. So yeah, from 185 a good dispersion from the hole would be about 18 yards. That's kind of break 75 uh, kind of score that would be. Got anything with him there? Yeah. Anything there, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Right, let's go for it. Nice solid six, middle of the green. Right. Yeah, hit that great. Nice so, pushed it a little bit, but it flagged it, if you like. But it's uh, front, front third of the green, so I'm gonna have an uphill part. But great, really happy with the shot. Okay, Jed. So similar yardage to me, I think, wouldn't you? Similar, similar yardage. Yeah, I'm just sort of below that little mound. Shoot on. Uh, slightly grassy line. Yeah. In, in there behind. I'm actually going to play five iron. I'm going to sort of try and squeeze it, chase it out a little bit. See if I can get it landing, maybe just in the fringe and run it off and get a little bit more out of it that way. Yeah, definitely. The wind's picked up a little bit too, so uh, I think if I was hitting it now from where you are with this angle, I probably might go five. Yeah. So yeah, good play. It's nice and smooth, and let's see if we can chase it into that, as you say, into that open part of the green, and there, uh, and leave uh, a little chance of there. Good looking shot. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's about pin high, middle of the green. Good play from here. That. Smart. Right, so. Nice result from that line. Maybe yep. 45 feet. Yeah, slightly down the hill as well, feeding into it from the right hand side. So again, control of speed, key. If you can get it down there to within that little two foot radius, we'll take that. Yeah, not bad from there. Right, mate. Yep. Yeah, I said slightly further right than I was trying to go, but I'm really happy with the result. I'll take it obviously all day long. Birdie chance. So we haven't had many of these because the flags are so tucked away, but let's see if I can take advantage. Slightly, slightly drifting from the left hand side, this putt. So 
I can see if I can just start it on the left edge and just get the right combo between pace and line. Oh! Beautiful roll that was as well. Yeah. Thought you had it all the way there. I thought it was just a fraction left off the putter, and I thought you know it had a chance, but just a fraction left. Because because you're one up. We're going to see this one in. We're going to see this one in. Because be the end of the second part. You wouldn't expect anything other. Okay. A little bit downhill. Nicely done. Good four. Thank you. Good four. So, so guys, that concludes part two. Yep. Uh, if you haven't checked out part one, please head over to Ali's channel, check out part one. Then again, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed to, to my channel, clicking the button there at the bottom of the screen, that'll take you to the page there. You can subscribe. You can catch me on the social networks as well. Again, head over to Ali's channel. Make sure you subscribe there. Follow me on all the social media as well. Loads of great content on there. And then head back over to Ali's channel for part three. See how this match continues. Thanks for watching.